you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. The first thing that we want to note is the near point of a normal human eye. And most textbooks report such a value to be roughly 25 centimeters. And if we look at the question, we were told that this person does indeed have a nearsighted eye that can see clearly when the objects are placed between 16 and 25 centimeters. In other words, the person can see nearby objects clearly. What is needed is a correction for objects that are placed at very far distances because it would be such objects that the person would have a difficult time seeing. And so whenever we place objects at very far distances, what we do is assume that the object distance, which is P, is located at infinity. And so our next step is to look at the thin lens equation. And of course, in that equation, we have one over the focal length equaling one over the object distance plus one over the image distance. Now, as noted, we have to correct for objects that are located at very far distances. And so we're letting P approach infinity. When we let P approach infinity, we would be dividing essentially by a very large number. And in fact, as P approaches infinity, one divided by infinity would actually approach zero. Basically, as you divide by ever larger numbers, this quantity approaches zero. So in essence, it's going to be eliminated from the equation. Next, we're going to plug in a quantity for the Q, the image distance. But before we do that, we're going to draw a simple diagram. And that diagram is basically going to be the person's eye and then a lens that they have to wear in order to correct their vision. Now, the question noted that the lens is placed two centimeters from the eye. So we would know that the distance from the eye to this lens could be labeled as two centimeters. What we want to do is have the lens project the image for far away objects at the far point of her eye. The question notes that the far point was 25 centimeters. So what that means is that from the eye to where she can see the furthest away is going to be 25 centimeters. Now, hopefully from this diagram, we can see that the distance from the lens to this far point would actually be 23 centimeters. And so this is the distance that we're going to use in the thin lens equation for Q. And again, this is for objects that are located very far away. So adding to the picture, we can imagine an object that's located way out here. We can usually just draw a little arrow to represent that object. Essentially, that object distance is infinity because it's located extremely far away from the lens over here. And what the lens will do is project an image at her far point. So we can imagine an image located over here. We can make it dotted to show that it's an image. And because that image is on the same side of the lens as is the object, we make sure that that image distance is in fact negative. That's a sign convention for lenses. Again, whenever the image is on the same side of the lens as is the object, we use a negative image distance. So in essence, Q is going to equal not 23 centimeters, but negative 23 centimeters. So we'll go ahead and plug that in and solve for the focal length F. And in fact, solving for F is a relatively simple matter. We could just cross multiply and we would have F times one. So that's just F and then negative 23 times one gives us negative 23 centimeters. So this would be the focal length of this lens that's needed to correct for this person's vision. And next, we just want to find the power. Now power is equal to one divided by the focal length. And so actually we go right back to placing the negative 23 underneath a one. But the only thing to be careful about is that to calculate power, we have to change our focal length into meters. And so we don't want to use negative 23 centimeters. We just want to move that decimal point over two places to the left. And actually then we would have negative 0.23 meters. And then when we type this into our calculator, we get approximately negative 4.3 and the unit for power will be diopters. So this is finally the correct answer to part A of the question. Now for part B, instead of using glasses, the patient is using contact lenses. And so in that case, the lens is, for all intents and purposes, going to be located directly on the eye. We know that contact lenses are placed right on the eye. 
And so we still need to correct for her deficit in seeing objects that are very far away. So if we place an object that's way out here, we would once again say that the object distance is approximately infinity. And then what we want to do is correct for her deficit in seeing these far away objects. And so we're going to project an image once again at her far point. So we can imagine an image to be located somewhere over here. And notice that the distance from the lens to this far point is now going to be 25 centimeters rather than 23 centimeters because the lens is located directly on top of the eye. And so the full distance from the lens to this far point will indeed be 25 centimeters. That means, of course, that Q will be negative 25. So we'll go ahead and plug into the thin lens equation again. Since P again is infinity, we can actually knock out this term right here. And then we'll plug in the negative 25 centimeters for Q. Now a little shortcut here, rather than solving for the focal length and then turning around and solving for power, let's not forget that power is simply one divided by the focal length. And so we can actually just go ahead and calculate one divided by this negative 25. Just remember that we have to actually convert it into meters. So it's going to be one divided by negative 0.25 meters. And that's going to give a power of negative 4.0 diopters. So this would be the correct answer for the power of the lens required when the patient wears contact lenses to see these objects that are located very far away. We also have to find the new near point. And so that's asking us to solve for an object distance at which the person can see clearly, the nearest object distance, I should say, at which the person can see clearly. And so to find that, we're going to finally take advantage of the near point that was stated in the question to be 16 centimeters. So you want to picture it this way. Here's the individual's eyeball. We've got the contact lens placed directly on top of the eyeball. We know that the person can see as long as the image is projected 16 centimeters from her eye. So we could say that Q is equal to negative 16 centimeters. What we are looking for is the object distance, the nearest object distance, at which the person can still see clearly. So this is our P. Let's not forget that when wearing the contact lens that the focal length was negative 25 centimeters. So we have the focal length, we have Q, we're searching for P so we can plug into the thin lens equation again. So here is the setup. If we want, we can add the 1 16th over to the left hand side. We get 0 0.0225 on the left hand side. If we put this over 1, we could do a little trick where we take the fraction and we flip it upside down on the right side and flip this fraction around also on the left side. So then on the right, we would be left with P over 1, which is just P. And on the left, we have 1 over 0 0.0225, which turns out to be roughly 44 centimeters. So this would be the nearest object distance at which the person could still see clearly, which is indeed the new near point. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for other videos. Remember that you can send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.